All right, what's up, y'all? It's your boy Zell, and welcome back to Get Right or Get Wrong. Taking a little break on the reaction videos, even though I got hella more to react to. But we got to do my little Amazon news you can use. So, in my building, specifically, it's been going the fuck down. Like, all chaotic shit been going on. So, the last situation I never really talked about was when 15 people got knocked down in one night. So... I guess this safety shit is really fucking serious because, like, I guess these particular group of people was outside playing with these little guns. What's the little shit with the little bubbles in it? It's not bullets or nothing. It's like a little gel. And they, you know, a little noise like that or whatever. They've been playing with them and shit. Oh, shit, excuse me, for the past few nights. But this particular night, I guess somebody had fucked up aim and fucked around and shot a PA in the face. Now, I'm asking people, you know, who've been shot with these motherfuckers before, do they hurt? They say, no, it's harmless. They feel like little things, little plastic, little styrofoam balls that become in like a little box and like, they feel like just little things hitting you. But I guess <coughs> some people get overly emotional. The PA, she went in there and told on them. And I guess they reviewed the cameras and suspended everybody in. You know, I guess review who was shooting what and who was in what car and all that. And I guess they got rid of all of them. From a little jail gun. Like, it's crazy, man. Like, you know, they just taking that shit serious. Then my manager, she pulled me in the office today. You know, pulled me and my little squad, my department. Pretty much saying, you can't play with anything that can, like, look like a weapon. Not a little gun that blow out the darts, nerf guns, none of that. Anything that's, like, can be pointed and... You don't know. Say like you see somebody pointing this out of a car and you from a distance. You'd be like, oh shit, if they getting robbed, somebody getting shot. Not knowing it's a nerve gun and shit. Just that visual can scare people. I guess that's what the fuck she was saying. Meanwhile, we sell that motherfucking shit in the building. We sell, I seen some BB guns that look like real 357s. Some real guns that look like motherfucking Glocks. I'm like, is y'all serious? I, I think I just think it was fucked up. Me personally, I think that whole situation was just dookie. It was it was shitty as fuck. Like I don't think some people should have got fired for that, man. You know what I'm saying? At, at least give them warning. But you know they're just getting stricter and stricter up in that building. For my people who hate the shoes, they on your ass. A girl that shipped out, she got knocked down for that shit. For the people that steal it, they on your ass. Somebody just got fired today. I guess dude stole some headphones, and he did this shit seven months ago. <laughs> that's the shit that's great. That, that, that's what I heard. Was it seven months ago or seven weeks? I don't want to say seven weeks. I think that's, that's I'm, 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 I'm dragging it. I don't think, that's what I thought I heard. It might have been seven weeks. He, he stole some headphones seven weeks ago, and I guess they finally caught up to him and shit. I don't know. Uh, they probably been watching him. And shit like that, and I guess I don't know. He probably didn't just stick tape that. He probably he probably took more. So if you're in there stealing, they on your ass. And I had to do a one on one, which every department don't do this, but my department does. Like every month, we get a one on one to discuss what's been going on the floor. Has it been any drama? What's been irritating you? What can they do better as managers? Blah 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 blah. Shit like that. And then you know it's in the front office. Meanwhile, every big dog got a cubicle. You know what I'm saying? My people, that is safety, that is the AMs and all that. You know, everybody got their own shit, different vests and shit. As I'm going in, I see two motherfucking dudes watching the fuck out these cameras. It, they, like, those cameras in there are fucking dope, bro. Like, I need some shit like that. Like, dude was zooming in. They can see a fly on your fucking hand. That's how good these cameras are. They can see what you... Oh, they can zoom in on this, see what the fuck you looking on on your screen and all that shit. So if you're in there making these fucking TikToks, man, I would suggest you chill the fuck out. Somebody watching you do that little shit. First, let me have about this. All that dumb ass shit. Like, chill the fuck out, bro. Chill out. They watching. I didn't know. I did not know. I'm sitting here watching this dude because I'm waiting to get called into the office for me. She's like, oh, just wait out here for a minute. I'm just standing around, you know, being nosy and shit. And I'm like, uh, seeing this dude, he switching from fucking area to area to area you see something funny take that mouse boom 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 whoosh 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 i'm like damn you can see the motherfucking tattoo with it say on their hand a fly could be on that motherfucker the color of the nails they, they the cameras is dope so if you in there wilding the fuck out you better chill 
Other news. These two girls was fighting on third shift. I guess the girl, one girl pulled up to the job, thought she was about to beat this girl ass. It did not go in her favor. She got she got the beats, you know what I'm saying? She got maxed out. And I guess the girl got pissed off about it, made a little phone call. Doo -doo 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 -doo. They come an army of girls, girl get her ass whooped. They jumped the girl. And the fucked up part, what I'm hearing, they gonna jump the girl. I mean, they gonna fire the girl that got jumped. What the fuck is that about? That, she got party on. Like, I mean, granted, she was fighting. So, I mean, that, that's probably what it is gonna be. Like, but the main thing was, like, yeah, you got jumped, but you were still fighting before she called the backup to come pack your ass out. You know what I'm saying? It's just crazy how easy it is to get knocked down in that bitch. That's why I tell people, brother, like, you gotta really be careful. They looking to fire people for less. Of course, I've been seeing all fucking new people getting walked around, the tours, and all that good shit. It's it's not a game, man. They cleaning up. It's after prime. Like I said, after prime and after peak, your ass is in trouble. If you've been fucking up, don't think you've been getting away with that shit. You haven't, man. So let's talk about the text messages that's been coming from to my phone from the work spot. All right. Da -da 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 -da. Okay, so I guess they... Bullshit still been going on these parking lots with these cars and theft and all that bullshit. So they sent this. Which one is this? They sent this one Monday at 3.42. As a result of feedback from the VOA board, roundtables, one-on-one -on -one conversations with associates, and increase in vehicle break-ins and thefts, the building is securing a parking lot with a two-phase approach. The first phase will begin in August. We will restrict non-associate vehicles entering during non-shift change times. Barriers and gates will be added to both ends on Babbitt Road and the 260th entrances. During the time listed below, the parking lot will be open from Babbitt and 260th, Sunday through Wednesday, free-flowing free parking, parking lot from times 4 to 8, 16 to 20, which is military time, that's that's my shift. Thursday through Saturday, free flowing parking lot times 6 to 8, 6 to 20. During the non-shift During the non-shift change times, all traffic will be directed through the Babbitt entrance and all other entrances will be closed. Now, whoa, I didn't read that part. Security will be stationed at the Babbitt Road entrance during this time to ensure only Approve associate vehicles entering the parking lot. This is going to be fucked up on Babbitt. Y'all not from Cleveland, so y'all know what, what I'm really talking about. But if they have that shit, you know how stretched this bitch is about to be to come from that road and come in? All that shit about to be backed up from the freeway to the light. That shit not going to last long. I don't believe that's going to last long. Ain't no way in the fuck you about to check every associate coming in here. No, that's not going to work. That, that's, 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 that's. A recipe for disaster right there. Unfortunate, but you know, it gotta happen. The, the, the VO, the VOA board, Voice of Associates, they spoke on it. They, they they want this shit to go on. The other night, somebody said they found a few shell cases out the parking lot. Was that Amazon related? I'm not sure. Could have been some nigga shit going out out there and shit. And they happened to get up in the parking lot, baka, 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 you know what I'm saying? Start shooting at each other and shit. So they filed shell cases. Like it's been going down to Amazon, man. It really has. So, again, for the people with this dress code shit, this is your warning. I don't know if at your building did you get this text, but ain't about when they catch you, I didn't know. Like, no, they gonna tell you we sent the text. So this is a text reminder around non-negotiable safety and dress code policy. Safety, composite toe shoes must be worn past the main entrance. Only clear bags are allowed in the building. Headphones and phones cannot be used on the production floor. If you need to make an emergency phone call, please notify your manager in or take the call out your station, not in the green mile. Pretty much telling you go to the bathroom, get out your goddamn station and get start getting this TOT. So you fucked either way. You can go get called on the phone to get rolled up or you go get rolled up for TOT. So if it's a really important phone call, you can tell the motherfuckers, hey, bro, this better be important because you're playing on my money. PPE gloves must be worn over to fit your nails and not have holes. So I see a lot of people cutting their gloves out, you know, especially females that had them little nails popping out. They not having that shit no more. Like, no, you, you, 
You either go wear the gloves or chill out with the nails. Stop getting them with ring joints. Dress code. Hair needs to be above your shoulder past the entrance. Bare misdrift shorts are not allowed in the building. I guess they talking about booty shorts, which is bullshit. I've seen somebody with someone one today. Keep in mind that violating these policies may lead to progressive feedback. So all that hot girl summer shit, y'all better start chilling that out. I guess if them ass cheeks is out, that's going to be the last thing niggas going to view because you're going to be fired. Like, let me look at that ass one more time before she get fired. You know what I'm saying? Shit like that because you know you got too much sexual harassment, which I don't think it is. I think niggas just shooting they shy and females just, oh, my God, the bear. I'm a piece of tuna and they, you know, I'm, they're, they're trying to attack me. Meanwhile, you got on this thirsty ass, I need attention clothes on. Then you want to go tell them, my nigga. We got to chill that bullshit out, too. What else pretty much popped off um, at the worst spot at my building? Um, uh, they starting to, you know, really see what the fuck you smoking. You know what I'm saying? There's dudes up there that are very fucking brave. Smoking a roach in front of the motherfucking building. At the little bus stop uh, smoke area and shit like that. So they about to start checking y'all uh, blunts. They don't care about the weed that you smoke weed. But if you got the balls of the size of King Kong to actually... Test they gangster like nigga, you gonna smoke it right in front of the building like fuck us like it's, you, it, they trying to show you it ain't sweet, it ain't sweet at all. Try to stop smoking these dog. Anyways, it's been going down. Motherfuckers been dropping like flies. Motherfuckers like yo, I ain't seen such such a four five days. If you don't see a motherfucker, I don't give a fuck if it's front or back half. If you don't see them like. More than five consecutive days, they most likely got fired or they suspended. They knock the shit down in there. It is what it is. I, I, I look at it like this. They figured out that most associates figured out the system. They know when the TOT pops off, they, they found loopholes on, you know, the break times. And, you know, they're probably finding the blind spots where the cameras ain't at. They just rather figure out, let's bring a whole new way of people that don't, sh don't, that they don't know shit about shit. Even though you get on Reddit and, you know, motherfuckers tell it all on there. You know, it is what it is. I think they're just like, hey, it's out with the old and with the new. These motherfuckers ain't trying to give the program, give them the fuck out. So it's scary because I see a lot of niggas about to go down. The safety people been walking that floor. <clears throat> and one dude tell us, uh, he got to talk to us about TDR. So something else that probably got updated with that shit. It's just change on change on change, man. I'm just... <clears throat> Counting the days down, just a little trucking shit, man. You know what? I'm kind of like iffy, up and down with it. Woman, I like you, woman, I don't. I'm going to tell you all like this. If you get into a program, make sure you got a good instructor. Because like when I got a good instructor, the day goes good. When I got one of those motherfuckers that don't give a fuck, my day drags. And they be like, man, fuck this trucking shit. I don't want to come back here. There's been a couple of times I almost said I'm about to go to, I have to go to the bathroom. And I'm about to pull the fuck off. But I've been waiting too long. You know what I'm saying? I'm not about to let a guy fuck that up for me. So I'm, 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 I'm built different. I'm way stronger than that. So I'm not, I'm not about to do none of that. But yeah, man, you know, people are dropping. They're dropping, man. Um, shout out to my nigga Ultron. He sent me some videos. Um, shout out to uh, Lulu. She sent me some shit. Uh, it's a lot of stuff I got to uh, react to. So don't get fucked up. But I had to get the homie Jay Jeezy out the way. That video was very important, but like I said, if it ain't really Amazon related, people ain't gonna fuck with it. But it's big lessons in these videos. Like, don't think I'm just this Amazon nigga. I work there. I'm not just trying to help out anybody, but when it comes to this life type shit, oh, I'm a motherfucking dog because I live this life. You feel what I'm saying? I know how it rolls. I know what the fuck going on. My ears is open, my eyes is open, and I hear it and I see everything in real life and on the fucking phone, man. That pussy ass nigga that was on that camera, like, man, you know, I'm just looking for love. Like, bro, this dude is all over the fucking internet, bro. All over the internet. And it's just like, women, women, let me say, I'm gonna tell you this too. I ain't really about to get on y'all like that. If you are not interested in a nigga at all, don't just say that. Don't use the nigga for the money. Don't use it for the, the, the time, the laugh, or to make somebody else jealous. No, man, just say, hey, I ain't interested. Keep it moving, man. This is how the one girl got knocked down. I mean, even though that was a total different situation, but it's still the same principles. Let a motherfucker know what it is. Let me standing niggas up on dates. That, that shit lame as fuck. Y'all think y'all doing some fly shit. Say, these girls up. No, nah, y'all shitty as fuck. Shitty girls. That shit lame as fuck. Just tell a motherfucker you ain't interested. Well, me, you need to take the hint. How the fuck you gonna take a hint if you gave him the fucking number? 
the fuck are you talking about? Like, man, got the. Anyways, hopping off the subject. But yeah, um, I guess they're trying to, you know, build more air conditionings. They're building more parts of the fucking building, more conveyor belts and all this shit. So when we try to run our boxes up, it's a big ass fence. Like, it's just getting crazy in there. Like, there's literally no. That building is not big enough. They're gonna have to build. They're gonna have to build a bigger building, and like people really about to call Amazon a prison now after they put those gates up. Like, hey, man, yeah, shit look like a prison. Like, it is what it is. You give up the program or just get the fuck on, man. You know what I'm saying? Cause I'm counting my days now. Eventually, I am going to quit Amazon. I'm saying that on camera. It is what it is. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I fuck with all my people. They ain't like I'm not gonna fuck with them no more. Like, oh, well, I work there. We're not friends no more. Like, no, you have my. Social media. If I'm giving you my social media, I'll fuck with you. You feel what I'm saying? Especially y'all on here. I always give y'all my IG in case you got Instagram. And you can fuck with me on Facebook. It's all good. You can message. I have no problem. You know what I'm saying? I'm not about to shout out names, but people know we have like regular ass conversations. Like, not like you even talking to a YouTuber. You talking to a regular nigga because I'm just a regular person in front of a camera. All of y'all can do this shit. You feel what I'm saying? So, you know, a few of the homies. Uh, I say one, token. Me and token be talking like heavy. Like that's that's the homie. You know, what I'm saying I fuck with her. You know, what I'm saying no no bullshit. We just talk about Amazon shit, or you know, she speak on some shit she she seen. JGZ, we talk on a regular. You know, what I'm saying Ultron, we talk on a regular. Like these is the homies. Like I'm letting y'all know, don't be afraid. Like y'all can't talk to me. I'm not no Hollywood stuck up nigga. He's a YouTuber. He won't talk to me. Like bro. Just don't be weird in the inbox. That's all I ask people. Don't be weird in the inbox. I'm have a few weird motherfuckers. What's up, bro? I'm like, what's up? Nothing. What are you doing? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. We, we not doing that. Like, look, look you got a, a video request? I mean, you have some feedback that you didn't want to put in the comments? Or, you know, don't do all that weird shit. Hey, are you going to answer me? I'm about to block your ass because now you're scaring me. Like, man, you a hacker? You on some weird shit? You gay? No, we not doing none of that. Chill out. So yeah, man, hopefully everything been going smooth in y'all building. <clears throat> like I said, all of our buildings, we all get our shit late. We be behind. Some is in front of us. I'm just telling you what what's pr pretty much going on in my building currently. So just keep y'all updated, man. Motherfuckers is fighting. There's been bullets and motherfuckers still breaking the cars. Motherfuckers still stealing. Nobody is learning, man. Everybody just got to learn the hard way. It's just fucked up, man. <sighs> we act like kids. Sometimes by adults. But yeah, that's the news you can use. So like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. To all my new subscribers, welcome to the channel. You know what I'm saying? That's how I get out. That's how I give it up. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking about my regular everyday living, which pretty much is Amazon. I work there. And you know, I talk about outside things. You know what I'm saying? If you got, got something you want me to tackle, send, send me the link. What you want to know? You want to know something about me? I don't give a fuck what it is. I'll, I'll address it on the camera. It's nothing. So, like I said, if you're first or last time viewing, appreciate you viewing. I'll see y'all later. Be safe. Get the money. Get the fuck in. Get the fuck out. None more, none less. Just keep it simple. I'll see y'all later.